session with a quick warm up. So if you come to the front of your mat and stand in Tadasana, we'll just begin by rolling our shoulders back and down, maybe a few times, five times or so backwards, and then five times or so forwards. Once you've done five times in both directions, we're going to inhale to lift one arm up high to the sky. Exhale as you reach over to the opposite side. Inhale, back to centre, switch over the arms. Exhale, reach over to the other side. We're just going to do five of these in each direction, moving with your own breath. Last one, and then this time come back to centre, arms out wide, we're going to wrap the arms around the body as you twist to look behind, just let the hands fall wherever they need to fall. One more each side, and then come back to centre, inhale as you lift the hands up high, reaching up tall, exhale as you come all the way down into Uttanasana forward fold. We're going to take a ragdoll variation, so fold your chest over your thighs, bend at the knees, crown of the head towards the floor, and just take opposite hand to opposite elbow as you gently swing from side to side. And then slowly just take the hands to the floor, walk the feet all the way back, and we'll come into down facing dog. Take some time to set yourself up, spread your fingers, grip the mat through your hands, press through the floor, push the crown of the head downwards, as you point your tailbone high towards the sky. Then think about extending the legs, alternating as you pedal side to side, opening up the calves, the hamstrings, mobilising the feet, the ankles and the hips. And then from here we're just going to come down onto our hands and knees and come into our cat-cow position. So you're going to take five cat-cows, inhaling to dip the stomach, Look up towards the ceiling, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and then exhaling as you round through the spine, pressing the ground away, sucking the navel back towards the spine. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Last one each way, inhale to lift, exhale to round. From here you're just going to take the hands slightly further forwards again, tuck the toes and press back up into your down facing dog. And we're going to take the right foot outside of the right hand. As we inhale we're going to lift and twist, hand towards the ceiling, and then exhale, elbow to the floor. We're just going to take five of these, lifting and twisting, tapping that elbow to the floor. If your elbow doesn't touch, don't worry. Just go as far as you can, just open up that hip. One more on this side. Exhale, replace the hand where the elbows just tap, step back to down facing dog and switch sides. So left foot comes outside of left hand. Inhale to lift and twist. Exhale, elbow to the floor. Again, five each side. Three, four, five. And then exhale, release that hand, step back to down facing dog, and we'll take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knee to chest chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. We're going to walk the feet all the way forwards to the front of the mat, coming into our Uttanasana forward fold again. Take a nice deep breath in by length. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as you come all the way up. Extended Tadasana. Exhale, release the hands, plant them on the knees. We'll just twizzle out the knees. And then we'll get started with our main flow. If you go back the opposite direction. And just shake it all out. You should be feeling a little bit more warm and mobile and ready to get started. So if you come to the front of your mat and stand in Tadasana, feet hip distance apart. Lift the toes, spread them, press the feet firmly into the ground. Tuck the tailbone under, suck the navel back towards the spine, roll those shoulders back and down, and take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale as you lift the hands all the way up, extended to Exhale as you hinge at the hips, coming all the way down into 
into your Uttanasana forward fold. Take your hands to the top of your feet, inhale as you slide them up your shins, squeezing the shoulder blades back, sending the hips back and straightening the legs, finding that flat back tabletop position. Exhale, melt forward, so we're going to do that two more times. Inhale to lift and squeeze, exhale to melt forward. Last time, inhale, lift and squeeze, exhale, melt forward. Hands go to the floor, option to step or hop back to plank. If you're going to hop, inhale to lift the knees in towards your stomach, and then exhale as you jump, catch solidly in plank, and we'll take a vinyasa. So exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, we're going to take a few crisscross crunches. So we're going to inhale as we lift the right leg up and then exhale as we bring the right knee to the left elbow. So opposite knee to opposite elbow. Step back as you exhale and switch sides. So left knee to right elbow. Step back two more times each side in your own time. Three elbow taps per elbow. And then step back to your down facing dog. We're going to then inhale as we roll forwards into high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Release the hands to the floor. And then inhale as we come up into extended locus. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release. And then take opposite hand, so, sorry, right hand to right foot. Left arm and leg stays long. And then inhale to lift and kick into a half bow. Exhale, release and switch sides, so left hand goes to left foot or ankle, and right leg and arm go long, inhale to lift and kick, exhale release, and then plant the hands back underneath your um, chest or shoulders, and then tap the toes and press up into your down facing dog. From here we're going to take the right leg up high towards the sky, three leg down facing dog, bend at the knee, option to just stay here for a hip twist, or take the leg all the way over, Drop the hip to the floor, keep the left leg straight, and then inhale to lift and thrust towards the ceiling into wild thing pose. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then inhale to come all the way up and over, swinging that leg, so keeping the leg lifted, plant the leg between the foot, come into a lunge position, set yourself up, roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards, and then we're going to inhale to lift, dragging that back leg up behind us, Tucking it in front of us and then coming down into Crouching Tiger. So left ankle goes across right knee, palms go together, hands to heart. Exhale, sit back into Crouching Tiger pose. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, release, and we'll start again and do the other side. So inhale, extend it to Dasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come down into that Uttanasana forward fold. We've got three tabletop poses. So inhale to lift and squeeze, sending those hips back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Last one, inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Hands to the floor, step or hop back to your high plank, catch. And then exhale, low plank. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, melt the chest to the floor, and we're going to go for that extended locus again. So inhale to lift into extended locus. Exhale to come all the way down. This time we're going to go for full bow. So both hands to both ankles or feet. And whenever you're ready, inhale to lift and kick. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift and kick. Exhale, release. Plant the hands back under the shoulders. Press back and up into down facing dog. And this time you're taking your left leg up, up high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, bending at the knee, taking that hip twist, or coming all the way over into your uh, hip tap to the floor with the straight right leg this time. And then hip thrust up as you exhale and reach over into your wild thing pose. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then inhale to come all the way back and up and over, keeping that left leg lifted, swing it through, plant it between the hands, Coming into your lunge position, roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards, and then we're coming into crouching tiger on the other side. So inhale as you drag that back leg up and through, tucking it up high, crossing the ankle of a, across the knee, hands to heart, exhale, sit back into crouching tiger. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale to come all the way up, extend to dasana, exhale, 
release. Exhale as you come down into your Uttanasana forward fold. And we're going to walk the feet all the way back to your down facing dog position. Pedal out the feet, open up the shoulders, maybe take a few pulses. And if you want to, just come to the knees, catch your breath in child's for two or three breaths. And we'll begin the next section of the flow. So on the next inhale, you're going to come back up onto your hands and knees, tuck the toes as you exhale, press back to down facing. So from down facing dog, we're going to inhale as we roll forwards into high plank. Exhale to hold in a low plank for three, two, one. Then flip the toes and press up into up dog. See if you can keep those knees lifted off the floor. Option to do cobra if needed. Tuck the toes, press back into down facing dog and we'll take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards, high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. And then exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, we're going to come into a side plank. So left hand and left foot goes into the center line. We're rolling over onto the side, finding that nice side plank position. Option to use the knee, stack the feet or come into star plank. Hold for three, two, one. Then tuck the knee up high into that armpit. See if you can step the foot forwards into lunge without putting that other hand down. Set yourself up into that lunge position and get ready to shoot up into warrior three. So weight goes forwards over this front leg. You're gonna press hard through that front quad as you inhale to lift into that warrior three and catch front hold for three, two, one. Then inhale to lift and tuck that back leg up all the way through without putting it down if you can into a knee raise. And then exhale to kick back. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale to lift and tuck. Exhale to kick back. Last time, inhale to lift and tuck. Exhale, release. Shake it all off and we'll repeat on the other side. So inhale, extend into Dasana. Exhale, come all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. And then option to step or hop back to plank. Catch and then press back into down facing dog. We're going to do that low plank hold. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank, set yourself up. Exhale, come down to low plank, keep your chest off the floor, hold for three, two, one, flip the toe and press up into up dog if you can. Option to do cobra if needed. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, drop the knees, press back to extended child's pose. Catch your breath for two breaths. And then as you inhale again, we're going to come up, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. And then we're going to roll forwards into that side plank on the other side. So inhale to come forwards into plank, swivel over onto your right side this time. Either stack the feet front or back, or come into star, hold for three, two, one. See if you can tuck that knee up high and then step it through into that lunge position without putting that hand down. Set yourself up into lunge. Get ready as you press the weight over that front leg to catch in warrior three. So set yourself up and then whenever you're ready, inhale to lift, catch in warrior three, hold for three, two, one. Inhale to lift and tuck. Exhale to kick back. Inhale to lift and tuck. Exhale to kick back. Inhale to lift and tuck. Exhale, release and come down into your traditional Tadasana pose. From here, we're going to inhale to come back up into that extended Tadasana. Rise up onto the toes. Exhale as we hinge at the hips and come down into aeroplane pose. Trying to keep our balance in that forward fold. Sending the hips back, straightening the legs, sending the arms back, looking forwards, sending the body weight forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, come down into your forward fold and then slowly come down into a seated position on your mat. And come into a seated position in the center of your mat so we can begin our cool down. So legs out long, toes flex back towards you. Pull the fleshy bits of your bum out from underneath your sit bones. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as you fold forwards over those legs, bringing your chest towards your thighs, head towards your toes. And just take five deep breaths all the way in. Stretching off that lower back, getting into those hamstrings. Last 
deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way up. We're going to take that right leg long, left sole of the foot comes over the opposite side of the right knee. Inhale to lift and twist your chest in towards that thigh. Hook your elbow around that, right elbow around left knee. Inhale to lift, exhale to look behind, half lord of the fishes. Hold for three deep breaths. Exhale, release, and then switch sides. So left leg goes long, right foot comes over the left knee. Hook the left elbow around the right knee. Twist the chest in towards the thigh. Inhale to lift, exhale to look over that right shoulder. Hold for three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release and slowly unravel your legs. Slide your bum down towards your heels. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug them with both arms. You can massage the lower back, rock from side to side, and then take a hold of the left knee. Exhale as you extend the right leg all the way to the floor. Inhale to pull that right knee, sorry, left knee in towards the center of your chest. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale to lift both knees back to center, switch over the hands. Exhale as you extend the left leg to the floor. Inhale to pull that right knee in towards your sternum. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale to bring both knees back up to center. Take to the toes to the floor, keep the heels lifted. Arms go out wide in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. And then just drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers. To release off the lower back. Unravel your spine. One more each side. And then slowly bring the knees all the way back into centre. Hug them again with both arms. And then whenever you're ready, slowly come all the way up to seated. Bring yourself to the centre of the mat. Inhale as you lift the hands up above your head. Palms together. Exhale to the forehead. Kind thoughts. To the lips. Kind words. To the heart. Kind feelings. Namaste.